Hello everybody, welcome. How are we feeling today? <laughs> um, I'm Leah Bartha, if you don't know who I am, I'm gonna be leading you through today's workout. I'm gonna wait and see when Martha's ready to join here. Welcome everybody. All right, I'm gonna find her here. Um, we're gonna be doing a 30 minute workout today. We're gonna be using no props. I usually use a still props today to make sure that everybody can join, whether you have a ball or not. We're just waiting for Martha to connect here. Hi. Hi, Leah. How are you? I'm well. How are you? Doing great. It's nice to see you again. I feel like I haven't seen you in a little bit. I know. This brings me back to the early quarantine days. I Although know. I've been doing your workouts through all of quarantine. <laughs> but doing the live brings me back to that. I know. It's so good to see you. And thank you, everybody, for joining. I'm going to actually turn the comments off just to make sure that we have some space here to be able to see. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling good. Can you hear me OK? I can. Yeah. Can you hear okay, me too? Cool. Yeah. I'm feeling okay. good. Awesome. I'm so excited to do another Be The Method. I know. My gym I'm so finally excited. just opened. So I just did a gym workout, and I need something more restorative and low awesome. impact. Awesome. Well, we're going to play around with a bunch of different types of moves. We're going to start standing. So I'm just going to make sure that we can, everybody can kind of see here. We're going to be doing a little bit up, a little bit down. You look so cute in that outfit, by the way. I know. I love this set. Me too. I love a jumpsuit. I'm rocking the jumpsuit today. Which I, I love the jumpsuit. <laughs> Anything like one PC, I'm all about. Yes. So we're going to start with your legs wide, and we're actually going to take your hands behind your back. So we're going to warm up the body here by just bending one knee, and we're just going to kind of rock side to side here. I'm going to put it this way so I can yeah. see. Yeah. All good. So we're just going to bend one knee and try to keep your legs in parallel. So we're going to stretch out through your spine. You're at a very slight forward hinge. Yeah, you can do your hands in front, you can do your hands behind, whatever feels best for you here. And back, good. We're stretching out through the neck, trying to elongate through the spine. We're also gonna keep this very friendly for everybody so that your scoliosis, you know, make sure that we're protected there too. Stretch it out here. Yes, thank you. Yes. And then let's do one more on each side and then we're gonna find our way towards the center. And then we're going to bend the knees slightly through here. I want you to stretch your arms out in front of you, and then we're just going to take your hands back. So we're going to reach them forward and then take them back. And you're actually going to keep your knees in parallel first. Good. And back. Nice. Reaching out through the arms. Try to elongate out through the spine. We're trying to find a neutral pelvis to connect into the core. Good. Stretching it up and back. Good. So building up some heat inside of the body here as well. And one more. And back. And we're going to hold your arms up. Just start to do very tiny circles. So we're going to be circling around here, trying to keep your spine long. Abdominals are engaged. Your weight is on your heels. So we're trying to activate the glutes, try to turn off the quads. I can feel those glutes. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's, kind of, it's immediate. Let's do two more. Good. And then taking your hands back, we're going to reach them forward again. And then back. Good. And forward. And back. You should be feeling the heat building up in your body already. Yes. Starting to get warm. Let's do one more here. And take your hands back. Let's do the reverse circle. So tiny circles in the opposite direction. Good. Trying to pull your shoulders away from your ears, elongating out of the spine. Checking with the weight over onto your heels. Good. And let's do three more. And two more. And one more. And now we're going to take your hands back. I want you to bend the elbows. We're going to stretch your arms forward, and then we're going to lift your legs up straight as you bend the elbows in. So we're reaching your arms out, and then pull it in here. Good. So now that we have some movement going, we're going to check in with your breath. You're going to inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Continuously placing the weight into your heels. Good. Nice. Really nice. And let's do three more here. Good. Two more. And so pulling the elbows back, but trying not to pop the ribs out to make sure that we're still keeping the spine in neutral. Good. And then we're going to take your hands out to the side, and we're going to start to play around with this movement again. You ready for some balance work here? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Good. So we're going side to side, still putting your weight into your heel. We're surfing. Exactly. 
We are on the beach here, feeling really good. Exactly. <laughs> and then we're going to press through one leg, and we're going to lift it up, and then bend. So we're going to stay over to the same leg. I forgot that these are mirrored. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Lift up through here and then down. So we're stretching out through one leg. We're feeling your abdominals start to draw the knee in. Good. And let's do two more here. Good. And then one more. Good. And then we're going to switch over to the opposite side, start to draw the knee in. And then down. Good. Got the cardio going now. <laughs> <laughs> I got to give you a little bit of everything here. Yeah. yeah. Good. So keeping your spine nice and long, keeping the core engaged, reaching out through the arms. If your arms ever get fatigued, you can also take them behind your back. But let's try to stabilize here. Get three more. Get really nice. Two more. And one more. And now we're going to go from one side to the next. So we're going to go up, down, up, down. So we're just kind of rocking side to side, just stepping nice and wide. Good. Nice. Whew. Still breathing. We're going to be so thankful to be on our backs laying down soon. Yeah. Lift. Be <laughs> horizontal. Lift. <laughs> Lift. And lift, good. And then stepping to the center, we're going to take your feet about hip distance apart. I want you to reach your hands forward. So we're going to turn your palms facing inwards. I'm going to slide to diagonal. And then we're just going to take your arms back and forward. So we're at a slight forward hinge. Your weight is still onto your heels. So I want you to envision your legs kind of squeezing together, even though they're not touching. We're feeling that inner thigh engagement. And the weight's over the heels, right? The weight is over the heels, so we're trying to activate the glutes, trying to turn off the quads. And let's take your hands all the way back. We're going to hold here. We're going to do tiny pulses up with the arms. Yeah, really nice. This is really good for my thoracic mobility. Absolutely. Always thinking about that. Yeah. Keeping the abdominals in here, shifting your weight back onto your heels again, check in with your neck, make sure that you're not gripping in the jaw or the shoulders, holding the arms up, and then we're going to bend the elbows and then press it up. Good. So always focusing on the length of your spine. You can relax your toes and give them a little wiggle. Let's do three more. Two more here. And one more. Good. And then we're going to reach yourself all the way up, and we're going to slowly make our way down to the floor so we can round through the spine or you can just make your way all the way down. We're going to take your knees in line with your hips, and then we're going to go on to your forearms. So we're going to find this position here. This side, just, okay. So onto your forearms here. Your feet are nice and soft. Your hands are pressing down. We're going to start to push up with the arms. So we're just going to stretch your arms up straight here. Okay. Like that? Yep. And then we're going to bend the elbows. You're going to tap the elbows down to the floor, and then start to push up with the arms. Good. So we're trying to keep your elbows kind of in toward your body, but shoulders are back. We're trying to feel how the core connects the body here. Also checking in to make sure that you're not hyperextending your elbows. And then feel the inner thighs pulling together. Good, really nice. And let's do three more. And up. You kind of use your core to help lift you, right? Yes, the core is the beginning of every exercise. So it's always there no matter what you're doing. You're going to try to connect there. Good. And let's do one more. And then up. Good. And then walk your hands underneath your shoulders. Your hands are directly underneath your shoulders here. We're going to soften the elbows. I want you to take your left hand out to the side. So we're going to open it up. And then just drop the arm down. So we're going to keep your chest parallel to the floor. We're feeling how your arm extended is it connected to your oblique. So yes, this is mostly abdominals. It's going to feel some upper body as well, but you mostly want to focus on the oblique stretching out. It's making everything digest right now. Exactly. <laughs> Lots of bumping noises. Everything you are saying is music to my ears. That's exactly what it is. It's deep. It's internal. It's not just about just working out. It's like, you know, pulling it very deep inside your spine, connecting there as well. It's being very intentional. Absolutely. And one more. 
And then we're going to take your hand back. So we're going to stretch it back behind you. So we're going to reach it out through here and drop it down. So you're keeping your knees directly underneath your hips. We're keeping the elbows soft. Should my hips go more back here? Is that better? You're going to try to keep it stacked on top or slightly forward. Oh, forward. slightly forward. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit more abdominals when we go just a little bit further forward. Got it. We just don't want to pull the hips back too far and engage the quads too much and the hip flexors. I feel all abs right now. <laughs> <laughs> and then last one. Good, nice. And then you're going to open up your knees and we're going to squeeze the heels and we're going to tuck your toes underneath and we're going to start to hover the knees up. So we're going to engage the low abdominals. We're going to start to hover the knees up here and hold. Good. And then drop the knees down. Good. And let's hover up and hold. And then drop the knees down. So you're just lightly tapping the knees. Lift and lower. Good, really nice. That's and you're going to try to work your head in line with your spine. Sorry, what'd you say? That's deep. Very. <laughs> <laughs> and then down. Let's do one more. Up and down. Good. Let's sit back into a child's pose. So we're going to reach our hands all the way out, stretching through the spine. Start to tuck your toes underneath, so we're going to keep your knees wide and your heels squeezed together. We're going to press that into a full plank. So we're going to zip it up here, elongate out through your body, stay lifted up in the core. We're going to bend the knees wide, start to push through the arms, and then stretch it all the way out. So we're bending the knees, we're lengthening out of the body, it's kind of a moving child's pose. Building up some heat again, creating this nice fluid blood flow through your body. And let's bend, really nice. I can tell you've been doing it often. <laughs> that makes me so happy. <laughs> Good. It's my third. Let's go all the way up. Let's do two more. Whew. And then out. For those of you who don't know, it <laughs> usually uses a ball. Yeah. That, that helps it's harder. Perfect. That helps your alignment stay perfect. <laughs> <laughs> let's do one more. Let's go all the way out. Yeah. And then let's drop the knees down. And let's sit into a child's pose, just for a second, stretching out through here. And then we're going to turn over onto your side and go into your elbow. So we're going to make our way into a side plank position. So you're going to take shoulder, hip, knee, all in one straight line. Shoulder, nip. Yep. <laughs> just said <like> shoulder, nip. <laughs> and we're going to stretch this top arm up. I want you to elongate out through this top leg. We're Wait, is your bottom leg bent back? Bottom knee is bent back, yep. Okay. And we're going to go here, and then we're going to go here with the arm, and now we're going to bend the knee and bend the arm. Good. Stretch it out. I want you to really reach out in both directions. Good. Nice. Woo! And then breathe through this. We're not going to do a ton. Stretch it out. Good. Two more. Start fish pose. You're lucky your face is off the screen. Like, how red is my face? <laughs> yeah, well, my dripping sweat right now. <laughs> and now we're going to add a rotation down to the floor. So we're going to bend here, and then we're going to do a slight rotation. So we're going to reach kind of on a diagonal. Like that? Yep. So bending here, stretching out on a diagonal. Ooh, I feel it in that left glute. Woo! Yes. <laughs> and then twist. And let's do three more here. Good. Two more. And one more. Good. And then we can drop your knee down, and we're going to turn and face towards the floor, but we're going to do the same arm bent. So we're going to go here. Your top arm is going to lengthen out, and then we're going to stretch your chest down, so you're kind of on a diagonal here. We're going to reach your same arm that's forward, same arm that's back. So we're going to find kind of a parallel position here. So twist your hips towards the floor. Good. We're going to tap the toe down and lift. So tapping it here and lift. Which direction is the toe going? Is it like... Um... You're actually going to keep your hips parallel. So the toe is going to go down, the heel is going to go up. So we're going to try not to open up in that hip. Oh, Lengthen out through okay. your head. And let's do three more. Good, two more. Really nice. And one more. And then we're gonna hold that leg up. We're gonna start to bend the knee, we're gonna flex the foot. 
and then you're going to push out with the heel. So a half bend, push it out. Whew. Yeah. <laughs> Keep the abdominals in here. Keep stretching out through that supporting arm, but trying not to grip too much into the shoulder. Try to get the length happening in the back of your arm. Three more. Two more here. Good. Nice. One more. And now we're going to open up the hip. Good. Walk this hand in here. Yep. Twist your body over towards the side that your leg is opening up. And then we're going to bend here. So we're going to open up the knee, tap the ankles, and then stretch it out. So we're tapping and then out. Really nice. And if your neck hurts at all, you can always face down to the floor and just relax it. Good. Tap. My glute is on fire. <laughs> Both, probably, right? Yeah. Both. Let's do two more. And then out. And let's do one more. I think I have more glutes Ooh. than I even realize right now. <laughs> totally. Let's draw it down here. We're going to slide your legs in front, cross the bottom supporting leg in front here, so just give it a little pull. So we're going to tuck it in here. And you can also get a little twist. How are we feeling? We have another side. Good. I want my early quarantine glutes back. <laughs> All right, so let's go directly over to the other side. So we're going to find our way into a side plank onto the opposite side here. We're going to hold this position. So we're going to be in one straight line, stretch through that top arm. We're going to hover the leg up here. We're going to reach the hands all the way up over your head, so lengthen out through here. And now we're going to bend the knee, bend the elbow, and push it out. Yeah, so try to keep that leg in parallel if you can. I can push this back, but I'll hold this you position. Can see me? <laughs> Good, lift it up, so we're bending here. And then out, really nice. Bend, and then out. Good. And let's do two more here. And one more. And then we're going to add that rotation down to the floor. So we're bending here. We're stretching out as we rotate and reach down to the floor. So we're getting a nice rotation through the core, through the spine here. Good. Three more. And then down. Good. Two more. The second side is always so much harder Woo! because your supporting leg is doing so much work here. And then down, and then we're twisting down to the floor, making our way down. We're stretching through this front arm, getting this nice reach here. Find length in your spine, length in your core as well as we stretch the same leg. Oops, I hit my wall. Lift it up through here. We're going to elongate through the body. We're going to stretch your body down to the floor a little bit more. Yeah. And then we're just going to tap the toe down and lift. So trying to keep your hips parallel to the floor, try to elongate out through the leg. Is one of my elbows on the floor? Yes. Okay. The opposite arm, or the, the knee that's bent, the same arm is flat on the floor in a bent arm. Oh, okay. I think I have it mixed up. <laughs> that's okay. I probably made it more complicated. Like this? this? Two more. Good. Two more here. Good. And then one more. And then we're going to hold it up. We're going to flex the foot. And then we're going to bend the knee halfway, push through the heel. So it's just going to be a halfway bend. I like that. Yep. And then push out through the heel. Yeah. Good. And then out. And out. Good. Nice. And let's do three more. Good. Two more. And then one more. And now we're going to stretch out through that leg. We're going to open up your hip. We're going to rotate over to the side. So we're going to be twisting. Yeah. And now we're going to bend the knee, tap the ankle, and then stretch it out. Yeah. Bend it and stretch it out. Beautiful. So as we're elongating out through the leg, we're feeling the core elongating as well. Good. Really nice. And let's do three more here. And out. Good. Two more. And one more. Beautiful. So nice. And then drop that leg down. We're going to swing the bottom leg around, giving yourself a little stretch here. 
Now we can lay down. <laughs> and then we can twist over, get a nice little rotation to the side. Good. Okay. So let's take your feet to the front of the mat. We're going to squeeze your heels together, and then we're going to take the knees just slightly apart, but we're going to envision them squeezing together almost like you have that ball together here. Reaching your arms out in front of you. Good. And then we're just going to scoop and roll back about halfway. So we're just going to round back about halfway. So just kind of peeling through the spine. Let's slowly start to lift up. Take your hands up to the ceiling. Open them out to the side and then start to press your arms through the center as we roll back about halfway. Good. And lift it up. And open. How's it feeling in your spine with just a little bit of flexion? It feels good. Good. So you're just going to really listen to your, your spinal flexion here. If it feels like it's too much, we'll pull it back a little bit. It lets me know for sure. Yeah. <laughs> And then lift and open. Let's do one more here. Good, really nice. And lift and let's open. And now we're gonna hold yourself about halfway here. I want you to reach out through your arms. We're just gonna squeeze the knees and then open the knees. And I want you to feel the low abdominals. I want you to feel the inner thighs, pelvic floor connecting here. Good. Woo. Yeah. Stability work. I love how I said all the way down. We're making our way down to the floor slowly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and let's do two more. And one more. And then we're going to round back again just about halfway here as we slowly roll all the way up. Take your hands up to the ceiling. Open up out to the side. Let's press your arms to the center. We're going to go back about halfway. We're going to make a soft kind of oval shape here. And we're going to do a little bit of like a tiny twist. We're going to do kind of a figure eight position here. Slight rotation in the body. We're keeping your lower half of your body stable. Just the upper body is adding a little twist. And twist. Good. Nice. Beautiful. And so you can find your twist, whatever feels best for you. So everybody's bodies will twist in different ways. So just go with your twist here. Even if it's really tiny, it's super effective. And let's do one more. And then come back to center. Let's roll back down just a couple more inches. And then slowly lift all the way up. Let's reach your hands up to the <laughs> Open up out to the side. Press your hands through the center. And then we're going to make our way down to the floor. So whether you want to just get all the way down or you want to roll down, it's okay. Okay, so let's take your heels together, knees slightly apart, and our arms are going to be out into a V position here. We're going to slowly start to tuck the tailbone up. I want you to lift the hips up nice and high, but still keeping the ribs in, keeping the abdominals engaged. You're going to squeeze the knees and then roll down. Good. So we're going to open up the knees out to the side, press through your arms. We're going to slowly start to lift it up, squeeze the knees slightly and then roll it down. So try to do a little bit of articulation. I know it's tricky with scoliosis, but just get a little bit of mobility there if you can. And squeeze, and scoop and roll down. And let's do one more. So we're pressing your arms out into that V, lifting it up, squeeze, and scoop and roll down. And we're gonna do the reverse. So we're gonna keep the knees kind of squeezed together Lifting up in the hips, let's open up the knees out to the side. Slowly roll all the way down. Squeeze the knees together, let's lift it up. Good, open it out to the side, and then scoop and roll all the way down. Good, nice, two more. Squeeze, and lift. How are you feeling? Good. Good. <laughs> Keep breathing, and help the nose, exhale through the mouth. Use your arms to help you here. Open up the chest. And then we're going to scoop and roll all the way down. Good. And then we're going to slowly lift the hips up with your knees wide. I want you to turn your palms facing up to the ceiling. We're going to take your hands underneath your hips. We're going to circle them around as you drop the hips down, kind of like a snow angel here. And then lift. So we're massaging the shoulders at the same time while we're connecting to the glutes. Lower abdominals. 
So you're lifting your hips up and down? Yeah, so your hips lift when your hands go underneath. They drop down as you stretch your fingers. Oh, I see, you got it, okay. So we're almost lengthening out of your spine when they drop. And your knees stay wide, right? Your knees are staying wide with the heels connected, so we're still trying to engage those inner thighs even though the knees aren't touching. Good, and then lift your hips up high. And then we're gonna stretch your hands all the way up over your head. And then just slowly roll the spine down one vertebrae at a time. And then we're gonna take one knee at a time into tabletop and just give yourself a hug for a second here. Good. And then I want you to curl up looking towards your core and we're gonna take your hands behind your head. So we're gonna do a slight curl looking up towards your abdominals here. I just want you to start to play around with a little bit of like marching here. Just turning this a little bit. Yeah. So trying to keep a neutral pelvis and we're just gonna drop one leg at a time. So we're keeping the shape of the leg and really using your core to switch legs here and your head is in your arms. Very slight lift, very tiny here. And then we're gonna to start to extend one leg out only. So we're gonna tap, stretch it out. So we're gonna find length all the way through your abdominals. We're gonna treat your leg as an extension of your core. Ooh, that's some coordination right there. I know. Usually we have the ball behind this knee, so think of it as if like the knee that stays bent, you're trying to squeeze that ball. Good. And then we're going to add a little twist over towards the bent knee. So we're twisting. So we're going to just twist towards one direction. So I'm going over to my right, my right knee stays bent. Good. And let's do three more here. Good. Two more. And one more. And then we're gonna come back to center. Now we're gonna stretch out the leg that was already straight. You're gonna flex the foot up and then point the toe down. So let's flex it up, point it down. Beautiful, so nice. Good, two more. You're doing great. And one more here. I'm not talking because I'm working. <laughs> That's good, just focus on your breathing. Hold your knees in, just give yourself a hug here for a second. And then we're gonna take your hands behind your head again. Let's curl up again, find this tabletop position here. We're gonna start from the beginning by just marching through your legs, finding your center again. Good. Keeping the abdominals in and realizing that your core is gonna draw your knees in because we're grounding the tailbone down. Good. And now we're going to start to extend out through that opposite leg. So we're going to reach it out. A lot of coordination here. And then make sure that your elbows are in your peripherals so we're not opening them up too far. Good. Yeah. Pressing your head into your arms. I'm giving you cues and cues for people that might be doing this also. <laughs> if, you're, if you're wondering. Stretch it out. And now we're going to add a little rotation over towards the knee. So the knee that stays bent, we're twisting, coming back to center, twisting, and back. Good, really nice. Whew, beautiful. We have three more of these. And two more. So deep in the core. <laughs> I know. One more here. And then we're going to find your way back to center. Let's take this leg, flex the foot up. Point it down, good. Flex it up so we're feeling that nice hamstring stretch. Bend it in. Good, let's do three more. Good, two more. And one more. Beautiful, pull your knees into your chest, give your abdominals a break for a second. We're almost done, we're super, super close. Now we're gonna take your hands out to the side into a V. Make sure you have some leg room because our legs are going to open up. So we're going to take one knee at a time into tabletop. We're going to open up the knees here. So we're finding kind of this like diamond shape of our legs. Pressing your arms down, heads down to the floor. We're going to stretch your legs out to the side. I want you to squeeze the heels together and then bend the knees. So we're stretching them out. Squeeze and bend. My feet are going like directly to the camera. <laughs> There's kind of no way of getting a good angle on this. I know, right? <laughs> Stretching it out. Squeeze 
and then bend. So we're really opening up the hips, squeezing here and bend. Pressing down your arms so you can keep your spine nice and long. Good, one more. And then we're gonna reverse. So let's take your legs out to the side, we're gonna bend the knees in. Then you're squeezing the heels, stretching it up. Open and good. And then stretching it up. Let's do three more. Good, two more. Good, really nice. And one more here. Like synchronized divers. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're bending the knees and we're making the diamond shape again. Take your hands behind your head. Let's curl up looking towards your core. Just start to squeeze the knees and open the knees. So we're squeezing and open. Feel low abdominals, inner thighs start to draw the knees in. Try to create some resistance like you're swimming in a body of water. And let's do three more. And two more. Ooh. And one more. And then now as the knees squeeze, we're doing a little rotation to the side. Come back to center with an open knee, tiny rotation. Try to keep your hips stable. Try to keep your body stable as well. Good, you're doing great. And twist. And I threw a bunch of new moves at you that you've never, probably never done before. Sure, <laughs> <that. Right. laughs> We're sneaky. getting creative. <laughs> Let's do one more on each side. And last one, beautiful. And then bend your knees into your chest, just give yourself a hug here. Awesome. And then we're gonna slowly make your way up to standing. We're gonna get all the way up again. We're gonna just kind of flow through the body just a little bit to, and then we'll get a little stretch and then we'll be all done. So taking the legs wide, we're gonna just play around with opening up the knees, opening up the hips. Good. Stretching it out here. And then we're gonna to start to push through one arm. So we're gonna push one arm forward, one arm back. We're gonna feel how it's length out of your obliques as well. Good. Good, rocking side to side. Good, nice. And then we're gonna do one more on each side. Find your way back to center as we press the arms back. We're gonna round through the spine, stretch the arms out, and then open up the chest so we're gonna bend Stretch the arms out, round through the spine, and back, good. Two more, rounding here, and back. Let's do one more, rounding here, and back. And then we're gonna lift all the way up, open up the hips, and we're gonna take your toes out to the side. Just bend it down through here. We're gonna take your arms back. I want you to stretch one arm up, and then we're going to switch it down. And then we're reaching it up. I want you to elongate out through the body. And down. Good. Two more. And down. Beautiful. One more. Placing weight into your heels. We're going to stay down here. You're going to switch the arms. Coordination here. And then lift up through the opposite arm. And then down. Good. Really nice. Lift. And then down. I mean, you're doing amazing. This is so great. Thank you. It's <laughs> awesome. And then one more. Lift. I like this little move. <laughs> yeah. And then reach both hands all the way up. We're going to take your arms out to the side. We can reach out through the arms. We're going to stretch through one leg. Let's reach it out through here. Come back to center. Good. Stretching it up. Back to center. Get stretching it out here, elongating out through the body. Good, nice. Good, and then let's lift straight up through the center here. We can walk your feet into about hip distance apart. We're gonna make your way down to the floor. Keep a soft knee here. We're gonna grab onto your elbows, let your head hang all the way down. Just allow gravity to pull your head to the floor, which is not your head, yes. Shake your head no. Reach the arms down to the floor, keep those knees soft, and then we're gonna slowly start to lift up and let your head be the last piece. Then we can roll your shoulders back. And Thank you, everybody. Thank you. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna turn these comments back on.
right now and out of breath. I'm so much stronger already. I mean, you did so great. That was awesome. So glad that we got to do this. Thank you. I'm like a sweaty mess here. Thank you to everybody who joined. (laughs) Um, This will be saved on IGTV. So if you didn't join us then, you can join us later. And time to hydrate all of the things. How are you feeling? I feel great. I'm flushed. I know. Get that nice, like, rosy cheeks. I know. Like, blood flow feeling. I feel so much stronger. Thank you so much, Mia. I love you. Always. I love you. I love all you guys. Thank you for having us, Bandier and ALC, for this awesome collaboration. And see you soon. (laughs) Yeah. I hope to see you this weekend. I know. I would love that. Bye. Bye, guys. See ya.